Hi everyone, so, stats video. Um, looking at the mean, median and mode went on what's called group frequency uh, data. So you've seen group frequency data before in GCSE no doubt. So you've got a bunch of lengths, uh, which has been really key, key thing here. It's been rounded to the nearest millimeter, okay? Which means <coughs> that these class widths, you've got 139 and 140, like we, I think we talked about this in the Start of Confidence uh, booklet stuff. But this isn't continuous data at the moment, okay? So continuous means no gaps. <coughs> um, so we expect it to go 139.5 to 139.5 here, okay? Um, so you've had an in, you've got an interval and four four slow worms have been uh, recorded to be between 124.5 uh, millimeters and 139.5. So first off, we're going to need new class widths for a start uh, or new classes. So we can really quickly come up with that. Now from our start of confidence, then we know how to find the mean. Uh, so we quickly do that. So if we have new class system here, so this is your length of slow worm. So 124.5 to 139.5, 139.5 to 154.5, to 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 169.5, 
is your 35th value. Okay, so we are not rounding up here. We're not rounding up to the 36. So we're not rounding because this is continuous data. Okay, so when you're doing your discrete values, you know that list at the top, we do round up because that's just a convention. We need to pick a number. There is, you know, the 35th point fifth number doesn't necessarily exist. Whereas in the median class, when you're talking about continuous data, it does because it could very well be the 35th point fifth. Um, because it's all in proportion, right? This free, we don't know which four values uh, were, you know, what the specific four values were within that class here, okay, uh, at the top. So 35th point fifth, this is where we're going to need our cumulative frequency. And this is really helpful because where is the 35th point fifth number? Well, so far we've got four numbers plus the four, that's eight. So cumulative means add up as you go, essentially. So there's your 17 um, plus your 20 is your 37 and then plus your 24 is your 61 and plus your 10 is your 71. So clearly the middle value, the 35th value must lie in this interval here because it finishes at 37 and goes between 17 and 37. So your median class must be, well really this one here, because remember we're dealing with continuous data, so 184.5 to 199.5. And as you know, from starting with confidence, how to find the mean, remember you need your midpoint. Okay? So to find your mean, which could be denoted by X bar, so get used to that. X bar, remember that formula, sigma Fx over sigma F. So you know how to work that out, don't you? You find your midpoint value. So 125, 139, what's the midpoint of that? 14, 7, so 132. So remember you're doing 132 times by your frequency. Okay, there's your, there's your FX. And you add them all up and you can find your mean. Okay, but what we really want to talk about <coughs> is linear interpolation. How to find the specific value of your median. So we found what the median class was, but we didn't actually find what the median is itself. So we'll do that cumulative frequency again. So it's the same set of values, 61, 71. <clears throat> and the median is somewhere, as we said, in this median class here. But remember that it's not actually that class, um, 185 to 199. It's 184.5 to 199.5, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, maybe I should put that to the side. So I can put 0.5 there and 184.5 here. Okay. So that's our class. There's our frequency, 20. And our cumulative frequency is between 17 and 37. So normal process to find Q2, the median then. We do our nth over 2 which we found earlier was the 71 over tooth value, so the 35th value. But how do we find what the 35th value actually is? What is the median? That's where we need linear interpolation, okay? So how does linear interpolation work? Well, essentially, if we draw a line like this, this is the method I'd like you to use, okay? You'll see kind of what's happening. We can see that this class, 184.5 to 199.5, has starts from it, it starts from frequency 17, doesn't it? And it ends at 37. Can you see? And somewhere, <coughs> somewhere in there, is the 35.5 value, right? <coughs> and our class itself starts from 184.5 to 199.5. And this is what the Q2 is, isn't it? Remember, this is the value we're looking for, the specific millimeter of the slow worm, okay? So on, our, on this line, can you see at the bottom, we've got our class information, 
and then on the top we've got our frequency information okay so in a linear interpolation this assumes that this proportion the proportion is consistent so what it's saying is that okay we don't know exactly what numbers um, these 20 this 20 frequencies make up we don't know you know specifically was it 187 was there 186 etc so what linear interpolation does is assume that all the numbers are evenly distributed into 20 different spaces essentially okay so it's evenly uh, proportioned and we just need to find what the value of that 35.5 proportion is and therefore the value of the class will be split up in exactly the same way okay so let me show you what I mean here <clears throat> so can you see that this ratio here <clears throat> so 35.5 minus 17 right must be the same as this proportion over here so this must be the same as uh, Q2 take 184.5 right likewise this proportion over here must be the same as this proportion over here so essentially what we're saying is that this proportion 17 to 35 over this whole line here so 37 subtract 17 must be the same as this proportion here over the whole line can you see for these two things to be equivalent the 35.5 and the q2 we're saying the top section divided by the whole line must be the same as this bottom section divided by the, the whole line so we divide that by the whole line so 199.5 subtract 184.5 can you see that it's the distance between them and now we just need to rearrange so we can see on the top here this fraction 35.5 so 35.5 minus 17 divided by 37 minus 17 so that's um, 37 over 40 and we've got Q2 subtract 184.5 we know 199.5 subtract 184.5 is 15 so Q2 then must be 37 over 40 times by 15 right plus 184.5 can you see so all I've done is multiplied by the 15 and then added your 184.5 so Q2 would be 37 divided by 40 times by 15 plus 184.5 so 198 uh, 0.375 and that makes sense because it's within that interval there and 35.5 is really near that endpoint 37 <coughs> let's try that again but to find q1 and q3 then this time so hopefully we're getting what's going on so cumulative frequency 4 8 10 17 37 61 71 let's find Q1 this time okay <clears throat> so Q1 remember the formula for that is nth over 4 this time because remember Q1 represents 25% of your data so in questions when it says oh 25% of people think this that's Q1 isn't it 25% Q2 means everything up to 50% etc okay so 71 divided by 4 equals 17.7 fifth right so remember we don't round up because it's continuous data <coughs> now let's use linear interpolation then to find this value first we need to know where the 17.7 fifth value is so here's 17 so again it must lie in this class here because it's between 17 and 37 so we draw our line this is our linear interpolation bit okay so on the top remember we've got a frequency stuff and on the bottom we've got our class stuff so on the top we've got 1737 there's our two endpoints the one we're trying to find is the 17.75 right 
Okay, and it's between our endpoints, which remember to make this continuous, 184.5. So 184.5 and 199.5. Okay, and remember we're looking for Q1. So that's our linear interpolation set up, and now it's just a case of rearranging. So let's make that point clear again. This proportion divided by the whole line, so 17.75 minus 17 over the whole line, 37 minus 17, must be the same as this proportion divided by the, uh, the same line, because it's assuming even distribution within the class. So Q1 minus 184.5 over 18, uh, 199.5, sorry. So 199.5 subtract 184.5. Okay, now we just need to rearrange. So 17.75 on the top minus 17 is 3 over 4 divided by 20. So that's 3 over 80 equals Q1 minus 184.5 divided by, and there's our 15. So if we times by 15, we get our Q1 subtract. We're going a bit slower than last time. And then if we finish that off, so 3 over 80 times 15 plus 184.5, we get our Q1 is 185.0625. Okay, go and see if you can do Q3. So remember the formula for Q3 is 3n over 4 because it's the 75, it's up to the 75% worth of data. Okay, so linear interpolation, you must use it for continuous data because you don't know where your median value actually is. So you assume that your class widths are evenly, the frequency is distributed evenly over your class width. Uh, and therefore, it's just a direct proportion relationship. It's an approximation for the median. Okay, and remember how to find your interquartile range. Then, so once you found uh, Q3, remember that the interquartile range is your Q3 take Q1. All right. See if you can find that interquartile range. End of video.